Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into something you might not have heard of yet. Human metapneumovirus or HMPV for short, it's a virus that's been flying under the radar but it's time to bring it into the spotlight. So, what exactly is HMPV? Human metapneumovirus is a respiratory virus first identified in 2001. It's part of the pneumoviridae family similar to the more well-known respiratory syncytial virus or RSV. HMPV primarily affects the respiratory tract, causing symptoms that range from mild cold-like signs to severe respiratory issues. Now, let's talk symptoms. The tricky part about HMPV is that its symptoms mimic those of other common respiratory infections. Think cough, runny nose, sore throat, and fever. In severe cases, especially in young children, the elderly, or those with weakened immune systems, it can lead to bronchitis or pneumonia. So, if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's important to keep HMPV in mind as a potential culprit. How does HMPV spread? Well, like many respiratory viruses, HMPV is transmitted through respiratory droplets. That means coughing, sneezing, or even talking can spread the virus. It can also linger on surfaces for a short period, so touching a contaminated surface and then touching your face can be a quick way to catch it. Close contact with an infected person is a significant risk factor, making places like schools, daycare centers and nursing homes hotspots for outbreaks. So, who's most at risk? While HMPV can infect anyone, the most vulnerable groups are young children, the elderly, and individuals with underlying health conditions or compromised immune systems. These groups are more likely to experience severe symptoms and complications. Now let's get into management and treatment. Unfortunately, there's no specific antiviral treatment for HMPV. Most cases are managed with supportive care. Think hydration, rest, and over-the-counter medications to alleviate symptoms. In more severe cases, hospitalization might be necessary for oxygen therapy or other supportive measures. Prevention is key, and general good hygiene practices like frequent hand washing, wearing masks, and avoiding close contact with sick individuals can go a long way in reducing the spread of HMPV. In summary, while human metapneumovirus may not be a household name, it's definitely a virus to be aware of. Understanding the symptoms, transmission, and prevention strategies can help keep you and your loved ones safe. Stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more health updates. See you next time.